anxiety is anxiety around the ecological disasters and threats to the natural environment such as pollution and climate change. Can you explain what eco-anxiety is to you? Um, to me, I get most anxious about climate change when I think about it too much and I think about how little power I personally have and it's, I feel like it's so out of my control to change it and it's in the people, people's control that people that don't do anything about it. How would you say that you deal with it in your day-to-day -day life? I try not to think about it. I also, I just try and do the best that I can personally. And a lot of the time I feel really discouraged because I think about how that really isn't making much of a difference. But I think about if I wasn't doing that, I'd make, be making no difference at all. So I just try and do what I can do. Yeah. What would you say to people that claim this is just hyperbolic behavior and that it's not that big a deal? <sighs> to be honest, I think these people don't have enough education and information on the situation. I, well, I've definitely surrounded myself with, well, as much as I can, I try not to overwhelm myself with reading about it and watching stuff about it, but um, since I have, that's, I've start, when I started to do that more, it definitely, my anxiety definitely increased. So I think the people that don't understand the anxiety around it just don't, aren't as involved in the situation as, I guess, someone who does mm. suffer from anxiety with it. How would you say this has affected your views on others' day-to-day -day life? Well, I think to be annoyed at someone for doing something like that, I feel would be quite hypocritical because, I mean, six months ago I would have been doing the same thing. And even while trying to become more plastic-free, I do do the same thing because it's hard to completely avoid it. So you just don't really know if that's like the only option for someone or if... They actually just don't care and if they don't care it's either because they're not educated enough which is fair enough because at one point i wasn't as well and like at one point all the people everyone wasn't and you know or they don't care but if i just view someone and i don't know someone i try not to judge or anything because i don't actually know that person and i don't i don't know if they do care or if they don't if you had one message on this topic what would it be i feel like when you're younger and you ask questions that make you anxious like will there be a world war three or are we all gonna like are we all gonna die you know or will the world implode when we're all gone and i guess like when you're all always told it's like no there'll never be a world war three or no like we're all gonna be fine we're all gonna live until we're older and like you'll have kids and grandkids and everything and then now once you think about it that's actually unlikely there probably will be a world war over resources and you probably won't you probably won't live to have grandkids and your own children and if you do have your own children they won't have their own children you know well that's the mindset i'm in right now it's quite pessimistic but um i think just that's the reason i'm anxious is because I, like it, it's just so different to how i thought life was going to be so i guess just oh, think about if you d you're dismissing climate anxiety, try and think about how it's actually going to affect your life. I got somewhere in the end, that's fine. <laughs> okay.